Yeah, man, absolutely. You know what? We're very excited for the Tropica Island of Treasure Seychelles to kick off officially yeah. on uh, Monday, the 27th of March at 7.30 on SABC3. Don't miss it. Yeah, and, and we couldn't go to the island ourselves. We weren't allowed to enter, so, so we brought a little bit of the island to us. <laughs> in fact, Zoe was there on the red carpets at New Metro and Hyde Park to chat to the celebrities who are about to head off to the Seychelles for Tropica Island of Treasure. A little bit nervous, very excited. Let's hear from them exactly how they're feeling ahead of the big day. There's a lot of excitement and buzz as we stand on the red carpet for the official launch of the Tropica Island of Treasure Seychelles. We're going to catch up with our celebs and their teammates to find out what it was like on the island. This is just a sneak peek of what's to come on the 27th of March. South Africa's number one fruit juice based brand Tropica is proud to be creating fantastic entertainment with its reality competition Tropica Island of Treasure Seychelles. We're going into the seventh season of the Tropica Island of Treasure. Why is this the best season? yet because they want that you prepare a lot of new things you're guys you're going to see on TV and have the best celebrities ever SABC has been a big partner for Clover we've been doing many things together so it's great great partner for us we have a new song we have everything so it's going to be the best one the competition sees seven celebrities paired with seven consumer contestants and together they battle to win one million rand the host for the season is the gorgeous mini Glamini. I think this season is going to be really, really hot. I mean, one of my favorite things about this season are the consumer contestants. Not only are they just as entertaining as the celebrities, they're just as hot as the celebrities. Um, and a lot of drama between, between the two. You know, there were so many times where we thought, oh, this person's going to be the clear winner in this challenge. And then things would just change drastically. So a lot of twists, a lot of surprises in the show. But um, I really do think this is going to be the best one yet. They were very competitive. I was amazed by how everybody was like in it from the first challenge, from the first week. Like everything was on the line and they were all going crazy. The challenges were so beautifully designed because it was anybody's game. Like it wasn't uh, someone physical that was going to take the challenge or someone mental. It was a combination of both. So it's, you never know who's going to win that challenge. And as people are going home by one by one, by one you're getting really close with everybody and everybody's just in it so like 120%. So it's just going to be the best TV. The consumer contestants were selected through an audition process where the celebrities were able to give input and ultimately choose their ideal teammate. Delan was really my favorite time and energy spent on the island. The relationship we have built together is definitely one of brother and sister. I mean, I'm really worried about what South Africa is gonna think about me because I shouted at him a lot, but I also apologized a lot. It was a bit rocky when it started because, um, he, I mean, the first elimination challenge that we did, I really, like, messed up, you know? So it kind of brought out the competitive side in Bongs. But as the competition went on, we got tighter and tighter and tighter. It's very difficult not to become close to someone when you spend so much time with them. And when you're going ups and downs of this whole incredible competi competition, I have a sister and I have a best friend. We had an amazing time. Um, it was beautiful and the challenges were so great. We loved it and we became great friends. I think we were one of the few that really understood each other from, from the from day one. She's an amazing person and that's, that's all what that matters to me at the end of the day. Savannah is a fireball. She is like out there unapologetic, she is loud, she is um, energetic. So it was very easy to get along with her because I like listening and she likes talking. Although the contestants faced intense mental and physical challenges, there was some time to enjoy island life. But what would they take along if they were stuck on an island? If I was stuck on an island and I could only take one thing or one person with me, it would be tough because it would have to be between ice cream and my lover. I would definitely also take my fiance with me and my kids. I can't leave them, I can't leave them. <laughs> I want to take it all, so I take my whole entire house. Definitely my iPhone. <laughs> a float boat. Oh, can I change my answer? Can I change my answer? I also want a floating boat. Yeah, so I can be on the water and on shore. <laughs> One thing would be my cell phone with limitless data. <laughs> i go with Jackson, man. Yeah, he's got a lot of survival instincts in him. So yeah, and he's flexy like that, so he's gonna do the job, yeah. <laughs> With a million rand on the line, fun and games do give way to serious competition, and there's no telling who will come out tops. Bikini bodies, fierce attitudes, sun and sea, there's nothing smoother than Tropica Island of Treasure, Seychelles.
Ooh, very exciting stuff. Wishing them all the best of luck. Sounds like a titanic challenge ahead. And of course, our celebrities and their partners aren't the only ones who can win big. Absolutely. Mm. You get to, at home can also win some great and incredible prizes and a grand prize of a Kia Sportage wow. at the end of the day. So very easy. Just check out the bottles and entry details are on the pack. Easy as that.